So the rehabilitation of David Hay begins now here in Sheffield. Both boxers are in the ring at the moment. This is a contest that Hay simply cannot afford to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, promoted by Dennis Hobson and Evans Waterman for Fight Academy and sponsored by Interpoker.com, the world's best online poker room, who are proud to present an international cruiserweight contest over six three-minute rounds. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunk, trimmer white, as a professional from 29 contests, he has 15 wins, 13 losses and one draw. Seven of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance. He weighed in at 15 stone, seven and a half pounds from Estonia. Will you please give a nice warm welcome to Vary Semishka. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, he has the outstanding record from 11 contests. He has 10 wins with just one loss. All 10 of his wins come in by way of knockout. He weighed in at 14 stones, seven and a half pounds, and enters the ring as the former undefeated English cruiserweight champion from Bermondsey, introducing uh, David Hay. And the familiar smile on the face of David Hay. But will he be smiling in a few minutes' British time? Boxing board of control. Your tie keeper of the bout is Mr. Gary Grennan. And your referee in charge of the action is star referee Mr. Phil Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, this is six three minute rounds. You've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you both. Touch gloves. Good luck to you both. Philippe Fondue, a, a familiar Henry. visitor with a lot of his overseas boxers here to uh, England, in this case the Hillsborough Leisure Centre. A defining contest in the career of David Hay, Second which uh, certainly one. came off the rails a little bit last time out. So David Hay back in action for the first time since uh, September of this year, when he really burnt himself out far too early against that wily old cat, Carl Thompson, who stopped him in five runs. And here's Hay looking for a way back. Plenty of time for him, just 24 years of age, and he's actually a stone lighter than the uh, rather pudgy looking fellow from Estonia, Valerie Semiskur, who's 29 years of age. This is uh, Semiskur's fourth time in England. He's lost all three times, and all three times he has been stopped, and he's been stopped in the first round by both Enzo Macaronelli and by uh, former British amateur heavyweight champion Danny Watts. Good solid right hand by David Hay. Well, we see a different David Hay to the one that came out and uh, tried to blow Carl Thompson away early doors. Oh, I don't think so. Big right hand there, Two, Jim. And <laughs> three, I'd be surprised if this goes four, more all round. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay? That's what David Hay does best. Phil Edwards has a good look at the man from Estonia and asks him, is he okay? And David Hay is threatening to do here in British soil what's happened to the Estonian a couple of times before. Back comes the heavyweight, which he really is, Val Valeri Semisko. But Hay caught him with a cracking right hand. There's a left from David Hay. Solid shot of the body. That's the one that hurts. That is the one that hurts. He won't get up from that. He won't get up from that. That's the one that hurts. That really has hurt him. You can get your head cleared when you take a body shot like that. The pain simply rolls all the way over you like a wave and that's what's happened and David Hay has made a pretty successful comeback the opponent was uh, limited as we've seen from his previous appearances here but that's a real confidence booster first and foremost for David Hay well yeah it is a confidence booster I don't think he's, he's going to learn too much from fighting uh, boxers like that to be quite honest uh, but you know he needed uh, a confidence booster and he certainly got it with some great shots that was a lovely screw shot if you like for, from David Hay there and, and a right hand to follow but the left hook to the body that was a that was high on the head there with the right hand on the temple that was a good shot but you know let's face it this guy I don't think should have been in with David Hay to be quite honest but but nevertheless that was a superb left hook to the body and he was on the floor like an eel <laughs> well Hay really delivered that right underneath the elbow into the short rib ouch you can feel that from here David that really was just target practice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. He did uh, come, he's coming up to Christmas and he was gift wrapped, to be honest. Um, it was coming up to, it was about a week before the fight. It was no opponent. The opponents kept pulling out. So it, it came to the point where we had to get, it was either fight him or fight nobody. <laughs>